Hi, I'm Andy from Ramida Cricket. We're here today to talk to Chris Gale about his Spartan cricket equipment. Chris, very nice to meet you. Thanks for having me, Andy. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I've got a few questions, particularly about his bats. So, yeah, let's go for it. Well, pretty much um, I'm here with Andy. I'm going to tell you a few things I carry in my bag. Not much, but I've been on a long tour, so there's a lot of stuff in it. So I'll, I'll let you inside into my bag. It's a bit of secret. Normally, I don't show anybody my bag unless I'm playing a match, but you guys are very lucky today. So I'm going to unzip my bag, which is a Spartan bag, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy's very excited to see. See, what you can see is loads of bats in my bag. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but I'll take out a few of them. This is one, and I'll give you a bit of history behind some of these bats, these Spartan bats. Record breaking bats in it as well. So I'll just put them here for now. Then I'll try and find the right particular bat stage by stage. Let me start off with this. I don't know which one is this, but okay. Now this one, it's <laughs> funny enough, the special one came out. It's broken. It's broken. This is a special, this is a special. Spartan bat. This bat I use in the big bash. The score the half century of 12 deliveries. 12 balls, 50. This bat did that damage. So this is a record breaking bat. Good bat. Still broke. Still broken, but I still use it because I love it. Now, uh, Chris, if, we, if we're talking about what, if we're talking about bats, is there, do you use a different weight bat in Australia than you would, for instance, in England or in India? Or is it the same bat? Yeah, I always use the same, but um, it doesn't matter who I'm playing against. I mean, a lot of people always say, why Chris Gale use such a heavy bat? I'm a big man, and I like to feel my weapon very heavy. That means I can trust my weapon to go about it and swing properly without worried or worried any time, any particular time at all. So the guys in India, they always test the bat with the ping, 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 ping. Well, not me. <laughs> I'm not fussy at all. I just want to see my bat got a big edge. And once you got the big edge, you know, I know, I know basically I'm in good, I'm gonna be in, in a good nick to actually hit a few out of the park. And the balance, you know, I use two grips. It all depends on the bat as well. But this one of a different shape. You see inside, this one got a more like a bow like. They, they, they gone in rather than have it fully out. So this is a different, different bat, so you use two grips for this bat. So I'll show you the next one. I'm sure you're going to show you a monster piece bat. But I don't know which one will come out of this case. So it's not like I number them, so I'll see what comes out. Now this bat, this is a special bat. This is a lighter bat. This is a bat I use in the T20 World Cup against England. I scored a hundred. It's no what Kunal did or what Spartan did. They gave me a couple new bats. What they did instead of making it bigger, they pressed the bat actually. So it, it's the same thickness as that, but they actually press it, so you get a better ping. And they're right about it. I did get a better ping. The ball is like when you hit a golf ball, then you get that sort of ping. So this bat, you know, T20 World Cup get a hundred against England. It's very light, you can swing even quicker. You got any more questions for me at this point? But I'm the guy carry on. Now you carry on, Chris. I don't know what bat is going to come out again. You see, I've been, I've been away for like four months. So. Oof. Now this bat, this bat I've done a lot of damage. This is the, this is the heaviest, heaviest Spartan bat I have in my bag. Now this part, if you look at it, it's been, it's, been repair, it's been repair a lot of times. So it's been in cast, plaster polish, everything. This is a special bat. So this bat is used when things ain't going your way. You, you got you know, someone you can call on. I can call on this bat and say, listen, I need something today. You know, but people say, why don't you use it all the time? Not necessarily I, I will use it every time, all the time. I want to get a, a different feel of different bats at times and it will feel much better, but this is the go-to bat, the heaviest bat, score a lot of runs with this bat. So how many bats will you get through in one year? 
uh, to be honest with you, this bat, I think I reckon I have it maybe two to three years now. Okay. Two to three years. This is very, very hard willow. Good bat. So I always travel with it. You know, even though it is a bit heavy, but I always travel with it. You know, it's very nice. And you can rely on this bat a lot to get some runs for sure. This is the big bembe. The Spartan bembe. <laughs> Let me see what is in this one. Uh, this was a new one I get in IPL. I only use it in the nets. This is a new, new blade. See, not many ball, ball, balls hit the face. Very light, similar to the one I scored 100 with. So that's a, that's a toy run in the nets with this bat. This one, I even travel with a gold bat. I use it in a couple of T20 games. Um, this was the first one that actually, you know, came on the market when, when we, int we introduced it to the world in the Big Bash. So this is one of them. I always carry it, use it as a showcase for the people them to actually get a chance to feel it. Or the fans put it in the stand and let everybody get a chance to see the spot and gold bat and everybody actually love it. I did score 100 with this bat during a charity game in Guyana a um, couple of months ago. Nice bat, but I still use it. I use it in the Pakistan um, Super League in Dubai. I got a half century with it, the last game I played. So I still have it and, you know, I still like I like the, the weight of it and everything. So I'll definitely carry on. And, and don't worry, we got the, the gold Spartan gloves. We got the gold Spartan gloves to go with the gold bat. So superb, fantastic. So, you know, gold and gold. I got a goal here, I got my gold chain too. <laughs> I just need my gold ring soon. <laughs> so this is a Spartan glove. You know, the gold one. Which we all we all we all like. So I signed some for charity as well and people love it. And we have the original one. I mean I haven't played test cricket in a long time, but it's suitable in test cricket, eh? These ones. <laughs> But not to worry, it's a possibility, you never know. Is how many sets of gloves do you usually travel with? Uh, Sometimes five pairs. Yeah, I like to use new gloves. You know, when I use new gloves, you get a better feel. You better get a better grip with the bat. So I like to change. Not, I don't change gloves when I'm batting, but I like to use new gloves when I'm actually batting out there. And then basically, in the net, I'll just use, you know, the older ones and keep the ones a bit new so I can use it a bit fresher out there. Oh, not many stuff in my bag, but it's only shoes. It's not Spartan shoes. I don't think it's all Spartan type of the... Whoa. Oh, there's another bat in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> there's another bat here. Honestly, this is history. You see, this big bag holds so many bats. Unbelievable. Spartan big bag, CG bag. You need to get it. Now, this bat... This is a pair of them, very similar, the same bat. This is the one that scored the half century, but this is it's a pair, the same bat. This is what I'm, I'm using currently in the NatWest T20. I got a half century with it, um, was it two days ago, Sunday, against Amsha. Six over extra cover of Tina Bess. Sorry, the fastest man in the world. At least that's what he say. <laughs> so this one is the one I actually use. It a freely out of the park in the car park as well with this. Boom, boom. Sorry, but you get a taste of it. You have done a lot of damage to people. You get the Gale Four shoes. Makes me run faster. Well, you, well, you can obviously see that your, your bags and you spread everything out here, but in the changing room, are you tidy or are you messy? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not messy. I'm organized. So if I know I'm going to, if I feel first, I'll just make sure I put my pads, tie pad, helmet in one place so as soon as I come out of the field you just quickly make the necessary adjustment part up quickly and that's basically it so it's not a messy not a, not, I'm not a messy person I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a tidy person I like to clean so I hit the ball clean so I gotta be clean okay so so who is the messiest cricketer you know ah the messiest cricketer I will never really take notice and watch any particular one being messy but um, so, sometimes maybe uh, Adar and Sammy back stuff can be all over the over all over the place in the dressing room.
you know, Sammy can be a bit messy and always misplaces things and forget his things. Um, who is the most difficult bowler you faced? <laughs> without, without giving away any trade secrets. The difficult bowler? Ah, I didn't really find a difficult bowler in, in, in my um, sense, really. I think the bowlers actually find me a difficult batter rather than I will say I have a difficult bowler to, bowler to go up against. But it always varies. You know? Every bowler is a lucky bowler to actually can bowl one delivery and get me out. So, you know, they have, a, they, they have the better chance. But sometimes when you dominate a bowler, it's very good from my point of view. So I'm, I'm not going to say I have a difficult bowler. You know, I just make the necessary adjustment to a particular bowler. If, if I think I might have a problem with a particular bowler, then the less you can face that bowler or, or you work your game out, then that will be the best scenario, the best case. Quite a few people have asked us, excluding people you play with now, who would be your ideal opening batsman? Who would be my ideal yeah, opening to, batsman? Yeah, to play with. <laughs> uh, so many, quite a few attacking one. Uh, I mean, I've opened with, them, with one of them already. Um, Virenda Sewag, you know, Sewag. I don't know, even though I get a chance to open with him, um, I've opened with Adam Gilchrist, which was good. Uh, we have a partnership of one run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did um, bounce fist together, so he loved it. And we still talk about it in that charity game in Australia when we just, yeah, the world of them, you know, bounce fist. And, you know, but uh, yes, yeah, and those two guys, two attacking guys, was, was something. You know, very privileged to, to step out with them. Um, Wills I've opened the batting with. I was I would like to open the batting with. I have some great batting, batting partners um, over the last couple of years. I think as a West Indies player, I've, I think I'm the only player to have maybe 14 to 15 opening partners in my international career playing for West Indies. So I've had quite a few. Um, who would I open it if I, if I get, maybe? Oh, I'll have to think about that one. Who will, I, who will actually open about Maybe Mully Tehran, I'll open the button with. Mully. <laughs> <laughs> and surprise them. Yeah. <laughs>